Speaker. There are 96 species of eucalypts in the Blue Mountains World Heritage Area in my electorate. Just the eucalypts. And compare this to the entire British Isles, which has only 32 tree species in total. Now, those eucalypts give you an inkling of our biodiversity and the importance of this wilderness for those cute furry things that live in the trees, like koalas. Now, I know this because Sunday was National Tree Day, and along with a couple of hundred other people, I attended Science at the Local in Springwood and had the benefit of hearing from Professor Belinda Medlin. She researches at the Uke Face Project at the Hawkesbury Institute for the Environment, which is situated in my electorate of Macquarie, and was originally set up in 2012 to study the effects of climate change. Of course, Deputy Speaker, the other great thing about trees is that they soak up carbon emissions, about a third of the world's carbon emissions, in fact. But the Uke Face experiment shows us that older trees do not have the same capacity to absorb carbon as young trees, and it just ends up coming out in the soil. They've also looked at how native trees cope with heat. But the next project for these researchers is to track where trees are dying, because no one's collecting that data. It's a citizen science project called Dead Tree Detective. And if you've seen a dead native tree or a patch of them that's died, they need to know. Just Google, upload your photos, and they'll do the rest, and you'll know you've helped science understand more about trees 